Hello everyone, today's custom is for Nico Onrena from Belgium and I was told by Mr. Grooves that Belgium is the land of Flams of Riches which is the land of French fries Back to our friend Nico, he is from Belgium, he is 43 years old he works at the logistics of Volvo and he is a car guy. His Instagram page is iPhone Diecast Pictures and I will give you a link down below in the description for his page where you can find his magnificent work of photography. Okay, so the car he chose for my project today is this VW Bug and right now I'm modifying this body and turn it into an um, off-road vehicle. As you know, the Baja Bugs are um, very capable off-road vehicles. And since Nico likes both VWs and off-road cars he wanted me to create this special vehicle for him because he likes to photo shoot outdoors and as a matter of fact I didn't see many brands of diecast cars that have this model on their line we have a Hot Wheels model uh, it's a new one and also a matchbox model but they are not too detailed and uh, they have a plastic roof rack and I think they are not as detailed as they should be for today's custom I'm using Welly's VW Bug it's a VW Bug from the 70s and it is the one that I've customized the most for this type of Baja bug because I think the casting is way better than Hot Wheels and also it is very affordable and not too rare to find around here in order to give more clearance for the front wheels I'm taking off the lower uh, front end I'm using my cutters to take the primary uh, piece and afterwards I will file down the remainings if you are familiar about this channel you probably know that I've created many kinds of VW Baja bugs before and they were kind of uh, race cars however today I've decided I will go with some kind of overland VW bug um, something that you can go and explore uh, the country with it and it will have a roof rack and some accessories on it another decision I've made regarding the person which this car is going to be made for is to have this car um, with the ability to articulate its axles and it is mainly because the nature of the photos that Nico likes to uh, photo and I think the ability to articulate is very important for still photo shooting as a matter of fact I'm pretty sure that Nico is going to have this uh, particular car B is um, outdoor star of his photo shooting and I don't want any of my wheels to hang out in the air therefore the articulation modification is very important for uh, today's custom basically it is the same mechanism of my suspension modification however I'm not going to use my springs today 
the axles are going to touch the base all the time however if you put the car on an uneven surface then the axles will have the ability to cross one another and to articulate For the skid plates, I'm going to use this tiny plate here and I'm going to bend it in few areas until I will get the desired shape that I want for this car. Here is a new modification that I haven't done in previous Baja bug builds and it is adding this um, bumper at the front. Another addition for this car are going to be fog lights and also a roof rack but this time I've decided to secure the roof rack with a screw and not just by a um, drop of super glue since this car is going to be delivered for a customer far away I've decided that I will go on the safe side and attach my roof rack with the help of a screw.
After having all the parts of the roof rack in place, I'm going to conceal the screw inside this spare tire. And after I'll finish with this car, you can hardly see the screw hiding inside the spare tire. Right before moving on to the next step, here is a little bit of demonstration of how the car acts uh, with the articulation system. You can see that I can uh, place this car on this part here and the wheels are articulating nicely. And I think it is going to be very nice on Nico's photo shooting. Now I've made this part here, it is going to be a cover for the fog lights at the roof rack and I'm using a little bit of super glue to add this part and I think it will give the roof rack a better looking finish. After finishing with the roof rack, it is time to add the engine at the back. Many of you guys asked me what engine do I use and I'm taking this engine from this car, it is made by Hot Wheels and its name is Watt42 and basically it's an um, imaginary car of Hot Wheels and as you see it has four engines and I think it is the best way to get your engine because you buy one car and get four engines each time so right now I'm going to remove one engine and use it for my Baja VW bug and then I will have um, another three engines for some future projects. After having my engine mounted at the back of this VW Bug, I think I will create a cage to protect it. It is very easy uh, addition, it is made from paper clips and now I'm just fitting all the parts together.
at this point you can see that I've spreaded the distance between the back tires a little bit. I gave this car different um, axle width front and back. And now for the painting process. I've started with matte brown as basic color and Rustolium uh, Desert Yellow for the main uh, coat. Now I'm just adding some weathering effects and in a few minutes you will see the final result of how this car um, eventually will look like. And now let's have a look at the original car and here is my Baja VW Bug. As you see it has some nice matte color. I've used Rust-Oleum um, paint and after it some acrylic painting in order to kill the shine of the original Rust-Oleum color. At the top you can see my roof rack with a spare fuel tank and this carpet. You have Belgium flag on each side of the car and also some stickers on the windows. At the back you can see the engine and at the front you have this bumper. Overall it is a very favorite um, car that I've made and it is very hard for me to say goodbye and pack it and send it away but this is how things are And now let me demonstrate the articulation I've planned for this car. It is a very short travel kind of um, a suspension. It is not with springs, but the axles uh, have a little bit of travel. Um, you can see it is very nice to play with. Here is a close shot of the base. You have some uh, weathering effects there too and it is nicely treated. Okay then, so that is that for today and I'm going to head over to my local post office in a few days and have this car nicely packed and I will send it away to Belgium, to Nico and I'm pretty sure he will do some nice photo shooting for this car. Please follow his Instagram page if you want to see his uh, nice work and I will give uh, the link for his Instagram account at the description down below. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care and I will see you soon on my next video. Bye bye.